Just a really quick message here to let you know we do have some Father's Day specials going on, so check the description, and I will also pin a comment down there with some of those things that are going on for Father's Day. So I told you I had a new piece of equipment coming to use on the front yard, and actually I have two different pieces of equipment. I do have a different reel mower coming very soon that I will be using out here, but this is the second piece of equipment that I decided to purchase in order to do some things that I haven't been able to do in the past when I've been just doing real mowing. So today I want to go over a little bit of this mower, kind of why I purchased it and show you some of the features of it too. I've been using it for the last couple of mows out here too so I will put some of that footage in here so you can see it in action and we'll talk about some of the benefits to this, maybe why you could use this instead of even having a real mower at all. Quickly, what is a real mower versus what is a rotary mower? A real mower has a bed knife, it's a flat piece of metal with blades that are spinning this way and Right along that bed knife, when it's adjusted correctly, you essentially get a scissor-like cut. It's why you can get such a tight cut on grass where it doesn't shred everything. And it's what golf courses have used on greens and other areas of golf courses, sports fields, to get that super nice tight look. And also they feature rollers most of the time. So instead of having any wheels, you're going to have a roller on the front, a roller on the back, so that lays down that grass. It looks so nice and striped afterwards, or it gives it a specific look. So then a rotary mower is what most of you are probably using. That has a blade that spins around underneath the deck, and that is creating suction, lifting that grass up, and then cutting it off. That's the way that most homeowners are doing mowing. This mower specifically is sort of a bridge in between those two. So it is a rotary mower. It does have this one blade spinning underneath the deck. Gives you that suction, but it has wheels on the front and then a roller on the back. So what that does is allows you to use the benefits of that suction with this mower, but then gives you the roller on the back to lay down that grass and stripe it very nicely or just have that rolled look that you would get out of a real mower. So it's basically sort of those two things put together. So we're out here in the lawn now and I told you that this density of my turf, this is only less than six weeks old. So this isn't the most mature lawn, but I wanted to show you this right now because it gives you a good example of what happens. So if you're just using a, a real mower constantly and you're rolling this grass over and rolling it and rolling it, there's no suction there like the rotary mower would have, then you end up, if you look through here, You'll end up with these pieces that haven't been cut. As the density gets better on this and there's a tighter turf there, you will not see as much of this. But it will still happen to some extent because you're just rolling this over and there's nothing to lift this grass up before it gets mowed. Now there are some real mowers that have what's called a groomer and that's another roller on there that's spinning this up before it gets cut so that it actually gets a better cut on it. But for the most part, a rotary mower still is gonna have this picked up for you, then it mows it off. So especially in my case right now, there's certain times that I would really like to use a rotary mower to lift all those pieces of grass and cut them off cleanly instead of just roll and roll and roll, especially when the density isn't great on here yet. So this is really designed for that. It allows you to get a low cut on here, but add the suction in, and then you still get the stripe with the roller. I did try this on the perennial ryegrass plot at a taller cut, and definitely the stripes are amazing at the taller cut, but I would say I feel like it's better designed for the lower turf and areas that you have already done at least some leveling to. Even though you do have that roller on the back, it does still have the wheels on the front, so if you have a pretty bumpy yard, it's still gonna bounce around a lot. You're still gonna end up getting some scalps and things because of how low you wanna cut with it. So for me specifically, I would say, if you're going after something like this, you should really target having a fairly level yard or plan to do some more leveling work. And just know that for the taller cuts, I don't think it's specifically the best case scenario for that. And we'll talk about what might work for you if you just have a regular rotary mower and you wanna add some stripes to it and get that rolled look here in a second. Just quickly, a couple of the features. So all right, here's your height of cut adjustment. You can go up or down. Just like that and I found I can't quite get to the lowest setting yet my yard is not very old and it does need some leveling work before I'm gonna be able to get to the lowest setting but hopefully I can get to the lowest setting eventually and that way I can get as close as I can get as much suction as I can but I don't want to be scalping a whole bunch of things so I'm on the second setting right now and I've had good luck with that I've got a 190 cc motor here on the front Pretty typical, just regular small motor that you would have. So pretty easy there in case you need any fixes or anything like that. Very simple small motor for that. And then here this has a bagging system on it. It's really designed for bagging. Right here it does have very easy foldable handles. So you just take these like that and you can fold this down so that it fits into a smaller space if you'd like. And then it's just a simple clip onto here. Up here for controls you have to have this down 
to start the motor and you have to keep this on obviously it's your safety to keep the blade going so if you let go of that the motor and everything is going to stop this is your drive control so you have got to hold this down and then this is your drive control to start the self-propelled system the only thing that i wish that it had was a blade stop so you could let this go and the motor would keep running that way you can take your bag go empty it and you don't have to start the mower again and stop the mower and start it that's the only thing that i wish that i had but not really a huge deal it's just something i've gotten used to in my time master where i'm able to keep it running and take the bag off so as i said i am planning to reel mow but i wanted this as an option when I notice that I might need just some suction there to pick up some of the grass. It's also nice to have that bagging system. Just if I happen to get some debris on there or something, it's nice to have a system there too that you can use a bagger on. So really I think this could also be a good option for people who don't necessarily want to get into the real mower thing. There is more maintenance, you have to find some places to sharpen them, different things like that. This is just more of a traditional method where you can take the blade off, sharpen it yourself. This engine is going to be very easy for anyone who knows small engine stuff to work on. And it's just more familiar for most people who've ever had a push mower. So I think that definitely if you didn't want to get into the real mower thing, this is going to be a little more expensive than a typical just 21 inch push mower. But it is also a different design. It has that roller built in. It's very heavy duty. You can definitely tell that it's built to last. And so I think it could be a good option if you didn't want to get into the real mower thing. Or as I mentioned for me, having it for a very specific task and also as a good backup system that I can still get some great stripes out of. So I will have these available on my website if you have any interest in them. So it can get shipped right to your door, but there are some specific things about shipping these. So contact us if you have any interest right there on the website and we'll get you taken care of. As far as striping goes, if you're looking for that rolled striped look, but you want to just use your regular push mower that you might already have, definitely check out the Lawn Striper. This is a tool that I've used before I had any of these other fancy mowers. Many, many people have used these over the last few years to just use the push mower that you have, get some better stripes, and make your yard look very professional, have that nice rolled look to it, and do all those fun patterns and things. So if you just have a regular mower and you want to get that striped look or the rolled look, check out the Lawn Striper. I do have those directly on the website too, company right out of Wisconsin so love to help support them as well that's the basics of this thing I hope to have my real mower option very very soon and we'll do a first mow with that once I get it so stay tuned for all that thank you so much for watching today we'll see you next time